Good afternoon from Queensland, Gold Coast, Australia. Now today I'm going to be doing acrylic pouring. Mind my dog, he's moving around in the background there. Um, I'm going to be doing acrylic pouring uh, swipe. So we're going to start off. I'll tell you what products I'll be using today. Uh, the colours that I'm using is a black from Kmart. Uh, turquoise from Montmartre. Copper from Kmart. And some smaller ones here that I've got. Um, a green, some dark green and a dark blue. Okay, so I've already pre-made my mix today. Um, so the mix that I've used is, I've done my own mix with the PVA glue. So once again, 30% water, 70% PVA glue. Um, this is to go into the mix of the paint. So I just squeeze in a little bit of paint. You don't need too much with the main colors. So just squeezing a bit in and then using that on top. Um, until you get the right consistency. Uh, see that's nice and thin. You want it thin to be able to move over the canvas. Okay, so I've also dropped in some silicon into the main colors that I'm gonna be using. That, that's to create this little cells that should hopefully pop through. Um, now, I did drop a balloon um, with a swipe. I'm going to put the black down the side and the colours in here and swipe it out. And then anything in here, I might actually go through and do a, like a kiss through here as well. See how we go. Um, so I've just got that there just in case. All right, I'm using a canvas. I'm not too actually sure on the size. It's just one that I've had. Didn't like the painting on it, so I've cleared it out and I'm going to reuse it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the black. So I'm just going to pour on the sides, leaving the middle for the main colours. Alright, using my hand, I'm just going to go through and move it to where I want it. Remembering you want it quite thick on each side so the paint moves nicely. Leaving, I don't know, we'll go a five centimeter gap in the middle. Okay, might actually move it in a bit more. Right, so it's all dripping off the side, but I don't mind that. It means there's plenty of black on the top. Okay, so I might go the dark blue first. dark green, so sort of like an army green. Turquoise. And the copper on the top. going to do a drip of black on the top. Okay, 
All right, now we're gonna go in for the swipe. Now I've used like a file divider, plastic file divider, and I've just cut it up into the size that I wanted to swipe it out. I've gone smaller, so there's more sections where I've swiped. All right, placing it gently on the black in the middle and swipe. The cells are already starting to pop. All right, do it again. Just taking your time and just not hard pushing it down, just do it a limp, gentle, gentle swipe. So again, placing it in the middle, letting it sit down nicely and then slowly swiping. Just sure if you can see that from here, but there's plenty of cells coming through there. All right, gently swipe. I'm not getting too much colour coming through, so I might actually go through and swipe again. a little bit better. So I'm going to go again over this one. So I probably could have just left off the black on top. I must have put too much on. Wiping off, I've got a doggy pad underneath and I'm just wiping whatever excess paint I have on the swipe down onto the doggy pad. All right, I might do this one again as well. Still no colour in this section, so I'm going to do it again. Got the dark blue coming through. Alright, now the other side. So once again, trying to line up wherever you've done the swipe on the right hand side. And drag. Now you don't want to go too fast with this process. Just take your time. Otherwise you won't get a nice swipe. Really like this side, it's got a lot of color and cells coming through. So I may have to redo that side again. One more on this side. Now 
Mr. Spot. Alright, I'm going to go through. And then, oh, someone's alarm's going off. We've got a lot of black going on at the top here, so I'm just going to go and until we get rid of that black. Slowly going. Run out of room to split off. Alright. get too much swiping coming down here so I'm going to do this again I did more color down into the black so hopefully that will slowly run it through Starting to look a bit better now. It's already one nice one down there, so I'll leave that section. And we'll do it in here. Do another one on this side. It's all about learning, so now I know not to put the black on top. The swipe is my second time doing a swipe. Um, so yeah, it's all about learning and giving it a go. Just making sure that you enjoy it is the main thing and that's why I do it myself. Alright, that looks much better getting colours coming through. Right to this one again. And another go. It's really dragging the colour down. Might try it again down here too. looks quite blodgy in here so I will go ahead um, and use the balloon so in this balloon I've got just a little bit of water in the bottom here and just blow it up just a tiny bit depending on how big the canvas is you might want a bigger balloon um, but this is just a smaller size so smaller balloon okay I'll go through Placing that and pushing down just to give the kiss effect. 
not sure if you can see that in the camera. It's slowly coming through. If it starts, you can't really see it, just go over it again. Once again, just wiping off the excess paint on the balloon. Or even if there's color on the bottom of the balloon that you like, you can also transfer that over to a different spot. So that seems to be bringing more of the dark blue through when I do that. Might to get some more of the copper to make some. Oh, I'll go over that one again. Gonna go over those same spots again to make it stand out more. I don't want too many through there because I don't want to hide the cells, the my cells that are coming through. I might do maybe one more here. So there's a bit of different colour on that one, so I might actually go over the blue one to put more colour into those sections. See, so it's brought more colour in there. Do that again. Mm. This one. Different colour. Going on the blue. Let's bring more colour through. Alright. I'll leave that as is. Take my glove off so I stop putting paint on everything. Alright, we went out and bought this little blow torch today, so I'm going to give it a go. It's kind of scary. I don't know if it's on high or low. This is just from Buddings. Uh, it's called a little pocket torch, blow torch. Uh, yeah, it's from Buddings. Give it a go. Should try to bring out some more. Oh, yeah. Some more of the cells are coming through now. Try down here. I'll give it a go on this side. Hopefully you can see that from there. I might have to try different angles of the camera when I'm videoing. So many cells. I must have put a, quite a bit of silicon. I did only put probably three or four drops in per one, but I'm guessing because there was only a small amount per cup is why there's so many cells coming through. leave it now to dry pretty happy with the outcome probably a bit too much black I would like maybe more of the green and the copper to come through but I'm pretty happy 
So I'm gonna leave it now, let it to dry. Once it's dry, do another close up of the outcome and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching again. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you next time.